This prophetic encouragement was curated for November 27, 2024. Victory is a promise, defeat is a choice. By Veronica West, published on November 26, 2024. I hear the Spirit say, my people are defeated, because they have believed that the battle that is raging is an earthly one, and not a spiritual one. My people are defeated, because they have believed that the war is against flesh and blood, and not against the powers and principalities of darkness. My people are defeated, because they have turned against one another with the very power and authority that I have given them to destroy the enemy and his cohorts. Yes. My people are defeated, because they have sown to the flesh and not to the spirit, they have refused to humble themselves under my mighty hand, and therefore I have had to resist them. My people have been defeated, because they have taken their eyes off of their master and put their eyes rather on man, they have leaned heavily on the arm of the flesh, and they have counted their horses and chariots. My people have been defeated, because they have reasoned with their own understanding, and they have run after the ways of this world. My people have been defeated, because they have become lovers of themselves, and not lovers of the truth that will set them free and deliver them from the hand of the enemy. Oh, how my heart is grieved, for my people! Ha! I tell you the truth, my people have been defeated, because they have set up idols of their own imagination and their wild fantasies, they have chosen to believe and take comfort in the words of mere men, over my word, which is living, active, and all-powerful. Oh, how my people perish! Again I say, my people have been defeated, for they have made religion more important than deep and intimate relationship with me. The secret place has taken second place, and the works of sensationalism have been exalted above the humble works of the supernatural. My people have been defeated, because they have made room for a rebellious spirit embracing the powers of compromise and passivity instead of being empowered through a life of true surrender and submission to my Holy Spirit. Oh, how my people have been defeated by the lies of the great deceiver! Awake! Awake, my beloved, and take me at my word and watch, as my victory is made manifest in the midst of you. How my heart cries for those who have been defeated, because they have chosen the path of death over a life of abundance and beauty. How my heart longs for my people to walk in the victory of the blood that was shed by my Son for them. O oh, you of little faith, how much longer do you desire to walk around this mountain, going round in circles, reliving destructive cycles, when my new covenant has entitled you to lay claim on a land flowing with milk and honey, and unlimited supply? Beloved, come away with me. Leave it all behind. Do not despair, for I am a God of mercy and grace. I am a God of new beginnings and fresh starts. I am the waymaker and destructive cycle breaker. Listen. Incline your ears, for I am calling you back to my heart. I am calling you to come back to your senses and to the place of true repentance. I say, turn away from the ways of the world and to return to the narrow path, yes, to the way of righteousness that leads to life and eternal liberty. My beloved, do you hear my voice? Do you know the sound of my voice, for my voice is distinctive from all the other voices, because I will always call you to surrender, I will call you to a life of greater yieldedness, and to a relinquishing of your will and your ways to me. I will call you to seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. Today, I am calling you to put on the full armor of God, to stand firm in the face of the enemy, and to fight the good fight of faith. I am calling you to walk in the authority and power that I have given you as my child, and to cast down every vain imagination that has created strongholds in your mind, and to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Beloved, do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid, for I am with you always. I am an ever-present help. I am the God who delivers, the God who restores, the God who makes all things new. So trust in me, believe in me, and watch as I turn your defeat into victory, your sorrow into joy, and your mourning into dancing. Rise up, my beloved, for the battle is not yours, but mine.
it belongs to me and to my angel armies. Therefore, stand firm in the truth of my word. Hold fast to my promises, and know that I am faithful to bring you through every trial and every tribulation. I am the Lord your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Rise up and walk in my victory. Walk in my love, and know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Here are some verses for this word. Matthew 8 verses 26 to 27 from the Amplified Bible. He said to them, Why are you afraid, you men of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was at once a great and wonderful calm, a perfect peacefulness. The men wondered in amazement, saying, What kind of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Matthew 17 verse 20 from the Amplified Bible He answered, Because of your little faith your lack of trust and confidence in the power of God. For I assure you and most solemnly say to you, if you have living faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and if it is God's will it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 18 verses 18 to 20 from the Amplified Bible I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you bind forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose permit, declare lawful on earth shall have already been loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, that if two believers on earth agree that is, are of one mind, in harmony about anything that they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name meeting together as my followers, I am there among them. Luke 10 verses 19 to 20 from the Amplified Bible Listen carefully, I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions, and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy Satan. And nothing will in any way harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3 from the Amplified Bible God is our refuge and strength mighty and impenetrable, a very present and well-proved help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains be shaken and slip into the heart of the seas though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its roaring. Selah. Here's the pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, I surrender to your will and ways. Help me to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. Today, I answer your call to put on the full armor of God. Give me strength to stand firm against the enemy and to fight the good fight of faith. Empower me to walk in the authority and power that you have entrusted to me as your child. Help me to cast down every vain imagination that creates strongholds in my mind, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. You are my ever-present help, the God who delivers, the God who restores, the one who makes all things new. I trust in you, believe in you and look forward to witnessing how you transform my defeat into victory, my sorrow into joy, and my mourning into dancing. I rise up, knowing that the battle belongs to you and to your angel armies. I will stand firm in the truth of your word and hold fast to your promises, for I know you are faithful to carry me through every trial and tribulation. Thank you, Father, for being my God, for never leaving me nor forsaking me. I will walk in victory in Christ. You are with me always, even unto the end of the age. Amen. To support the prophetic voice featured in this video, please check and follow the links in the description box below. For more words of encouragement from the heart of the Heavenly Father, please check out the prophetic encouragement playlist.